Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. If you're new, I'm Nyx with Chromates Apothecary and today I'm going to be bringing you a tarot pick a card reading where we're going to be looking into June of 2023 and we're going to see what it is that the month has in store for us. So on the far left side with the Art Nouveau tarot deck along with this piece of Tiger's Eye, this is going to be for group number one. In the center with the Ethereal Visions Illuminated Tarot Deck and this piece of Zebra Jasper, this is going to be group number two. And then on the far right with the Tarot of Mermaids and this piece of Aura Quartz, this is going to be representing group number three. So you can either pause the video or just meditate for a few moments. And when you've come to your decision, I'd like you to head on down to the description box below and then click on the timestamp that corresponds with whichever group you chose. Also, if you like this reading or it resonates with you, feel free to leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more Tarot Pick a Card readings in the future. It really helps us know that we're on the right track and it'd be great for you to join this journey early on with us. So without further ado, I'll see you guys in your reading. Hello group number one. So if you chose the Art Nouveau tarot deck along with this tiger's eye, this is going to be your reading for June of 2023. And along with this tiger's eye, this is here to help instill confidence and really give you this sense of willpower that you can tap into. It's really here to help you assist in accomplishing your goals and really being able to release that blocked creativity or blocked energy that you may be feeling. So we're going to leave that over there for you to be able to view throughout the reading. Let's get right into it. So we're going to start the reading by pulling a few cards. Can I get some cards for group number one? For June of 2023. The first we have is the Three of Wands in the reverse position. We also have the King of Pentacles in the reverse position. Nine of Wands as well as the Two of Wands. So you have <laughs> a lot of um, fire energy here. So let's set these up for you. Now what I'm seeing in the three of wands just initially is that you, I believe that you are currently going through this time period in your life where maybe you aren't seeing the bigger picture. You might be selling yourself short. You might be really not connected with your higher self and it's kind of making it hard for you to be able to progress on anything that you've been wanting to make progress on. I can also see in this card that there may be some sort of delays coming up for you. So say you were working on a project but you are dealing with this like stuck creative energy and it's really just making it feel as if you need to fight tooth and nail to be able to accomplish anything. It feels very much like there's this resisting nature that's happening in your life. And I feel like this is something that you've been dealing with. I don't think this is what is coming to you in June. I think this is what you've been in for a while and you are trying to figure out how to get out of um, the stuck energy because I'm also seeing in the King of Pentacles in the reverse position that with this card it really gives me this feeling of like this stubborn nature. It can also deal with things like finances so maybe you're being held back like how you can see in this card that he is sorry he is holding her back kind of thing. I'm getting this feeling as if maybe there's something that's in the way that's stopping you from being able to reach that point of creativity, that point of being able to make something bloom and truly work out for you. And so you're finding that it's very hard for you to tap into these things again. Also with that stubborn nature too, it could be that you maybe are digging in your heels and you're like, no, this is the way that I want to approach this situation. And because you're not thinking outside of the box or you're not 
um, allowing other ideas to come to you, it could be that that's also halting your progress. And then I'm seeing here in the Nine of Wands beside that too is that there is this really intense feeling of you having um, like resilience and being able to really persist when it comes to your ideals. You are very, I'm getting this feeling of like being really strong headed. Again, maybe it's that stubborn energy is like, it's your way or the highway. You know how it is that you want to get this stuff done. And I'm getting this feeling like you are just going to continue to persist and you're going to continue to really live up to your ideals. This can also be a card dealing with you setting up boundaries. So it could be that other people are not believing in you and that's throwing you off your game and you are surrounding yourself with these people because maybe they're friends, maybe they're family and because they don't believe in you and the things that you know you can accomplish, it's also putting a damper on everything that you're working on because obviously we want to feel supported and we want to feel like we have that love and support from our family and friends, but sometimes we just simply don't and we have to believe in ourselves. We have to have the courage to be able to stand up to all the naysayers in order to accomplish the goal that we want. So that is something that I'm seeing too for some of you is that I feel like it is a family member or a friendship that's really um, causing you to um, not be able to flourish exactly in the way that you want. And in the two of wands reversed next to this too is I'm also seeing like there is this level of you want to move onward. You want to be able to make these plans and follow through with them, but there is lack of planning on your front where you haven't given yourself enough time to really work through what it is that you want and how to accomplish these goals. And I think it's muddied by like other people. Um, it could also be that you just simply are afraid of accomplishing these goals because you've decided that this is what you want for yourself. And kind of like hell or high water is like, if people around you are not going to support you, you're like, I don't care. I'm going to continue to persist and I'm just going to really um, reach out for my future and grab it. And whether or not you're here for that, um, that's up to you kind of thing. And you're kind of having that energy of being like, I know my true worth and my true self and I'm not going to stand down um, and just let people walk all over me or let them kind of like shun what it is that I want for my future. So I'm kind of seeing this as if this was what you have been through and what you are currently dealing with. So I'm actually going to go ahead and shift these up just a little bit and then I'm going to pull a few more cards. Sorry, I'm trying to decide how I want this to look. And then we are going to head further into your reading. We're going to get some clarity clarifying cards and also some advice cards. So let's start with some clarifying cards. For group number one, June of 2023, we get some clarification. We have the Eight of Pentacles. So this is really about mastering something. So you are really persisting at um, a certain skill or you're trying to gain this level of mastery. This can also be indicative of um, maybe going back to school. So maybe you sought higher education in order to better yourself and maybe you're feeling like there are people around you who just aren't believing in you and that's really taking away from like it's taking the wind out of your sails kind of thing. You're really not feeling confident right now. Okay, we have the Emperor in the reverse position. I want one more. Okay, and the King of Pentacles in the reverse position. This is giving me very similar energies too. So in the Emperor, um, what I am seeing here is that there is kind of like this, um, it feels like there isn't this rigid structure. It feels, or, well, it's not even true. It feels like there's that stubbornness again, but like I meant not having rigid structure as in like 
it feels like you don't have a routine or that plan that you need to follow in order to successfully be able to um, accomplish your goals. It can also be that you're holding on too tightly. So maybe you're somebody who really keeps things close to their chest and you don't like giving up control to other people because you don't want to rely on other people. And maybe for good reason. I mean, like it could be that other people are trying to stick their nose into your life and they're doing it and it's a detrimental thing. But I'm seeing this more as that lack of planning and that lack of um, like not having, yeah, just not having that plan. I'm also feeling like it's really hard for me to speak right now. So I'm feeling like maybe it's hard to use your voice to stand up for yourself I'm also feeling like it's hard for you to get your point across too. Like normally things flow really well and like you know what you stand for, but it's really hard for you to be able to get it out there and have people understand and really support you because of them. And then also along with that is the King of Pentacles in the reverse position right next to it too. This coming up (laughs) right underneath the other king of pentacles as well again it's like there is this stubborn nature um this can also deal with it popping up twice it really could be that you are having a hard time with finances um either maybe you have like a lack mindset and it's really hard for you to generate wealth right now or maybe you are so obsessed with like wanting to seem like you have your stuff together that maybe you actually spend in excess because you want people around you to think like oh look at their like social standing like they they have so much money they're always spending money and everything but maybe you're not at that point and you are trying to save face right now and it's actually a detriment because again it's pulling away from all of this too so i'd say definitely in june be careful of your finances um it's really easy as the weather starts to turn and it starts to get nicer out that we all like to go out. We all like to spend a lot of money on enjoying the weather and whatnot. And that's something that I'd say maybe look out for. Um, either looking out in the sense of you spending too much or you're seeing yourself be, I don't want to say shallow, but like, maybe you like to surround yourself by people who have a lot of money too and maybe like it sometimes seems like it comes across that you don't care about people who aren't on that same level so maybe try to harbor a little bit more empathy if that's something that may apply to you obviously like we grow at our own pace and i'm not trying to call you out or anything but it is something to take note of because it's really hard for us to tell when we are acting in a way that could be potentially hurtful to other people too but this is a very this is a very personal thing so it's just something to be aware of just in case that like obviously we don't want to be hurting anyone's feelings and stuff too so maybe just keep an eye on that too but i'm getting mostly that i feel like a lot of you need to just keep a handle on your finances this month I'm going to pull a couple of cards for advice. What advice can we get for group number one? So we have the five of cups in the reverse position. We have the magician. Okay. And we have the nine of wands in the reversed position. So some of the things that I'm seeing is in the Five of Cups is that some advice that you should take on is that you truly need to learn to forgive yourself and move on from 
whatever past holdups you have. So if this is a situation where you are dealing with another person, maybe you have put up your boundaries before and they did not respect those boundaries, you have to learn to move on from that situation by not allowing them to have that sort of access to you. So maybe you hold them a little bit at an arm's length when it comes to things that you're really passionate about. Maybe you don't let them in on those things because you know you're not going to be getting that sort of support from them. I'm also seeing too that you maybe need to just speak to yourself in a lot gentler of a way. Um, I'm getting this feeling like you're really hard on yourself when you can't accomplish the goals that you want to accomplish and you take it out on yourself a lot more than perhaps other people would in your position. But I'm also seeing in the magician right next to it is that you do have the ability to be able to really flourish when it comes to whatever it is that you have your mind set to. So the Magician is a beautiful card when it comes to manifestation and being able to really draw out this sense of resourcefulness and being able to tap into your like inner power and everything and be able to take those steps that you need to take in order to see the outcome that you want. So the magician is here to let you know that you do have this ability to be able to reach further and really delve deep into what it is that you believe is right for you. And then in the nine of wands in the reverse position, so we had the nine of wands upright, and then we also have it in reverse coming out. So here, it is letting you know that perhaps in the month of June is that you may experience this sort of like maybe like moodiness or like defensiveness when it comes to your ideas. You could be really paranoid that maybe other people are talking behind your back about like the situation and everything and so that's making you feel a little stressed out and you could feel really like you're struggling and feeling really overwhelmed and overworked with everything so definitely be gentle with yourself again and avoid these at all costs so like if you are starting to get these feelings that this might be going on you might be having that paranoia feeling try your hardest to ground yourself again and really let it register in your mind that that is something that you're building up in your own mind and that you need to take things slowly in order to really be able to feel okay with with what's going on. Um, obviously, if you hear something, <laughs> then you're not being paranoid, but it could be that you're more susceptible to feeling overwhelmed or feeling paranoid. So really touch base with yourself and sort of just do a little check-in with yourself to see where you're at mentally when it does come to these situations. So I'm going to go ahead and pull a couple of self-care cards to see if there's something that you can do that can help you throughout June of 2023. We have flow like water. So if you are able to, maybe this would be a great time, be a great time to actually go to like to the beach or if there's a lake that you like and maybe really get in touch with nature, especially when it comes to water. And it can also be representative of like emotions too. So you can see this figure is like diving deep into the waters below it. It could be um, dealing with like repressed emotion and dealing with um, that bubbling up of, of emotions too. So it could be something where you might want to tap into your emotions a bit more as well. I see you as someone who's like really headstrong and that you really don't take crap from people. So I think that you aren't um, you're not not in touch with your emotions, but I think that you have a hard time maybe sharing them and expressing them in a way that shows that you're serious about things and this would be a great time for you to try to practice that a little bit more we also have sing coming out as well so maybe you are someone who does like to sing in the car when you're driving to work or maybe you are somebody who does actually sing professionally or even if it is just a hobby maybe tap into that talent of yours and really allow yourself to just like belt it out because 
if you do use singing as like therapy at all you know exactly what it is like to be able to just like let yourself like loose and sing as if nobody is watching you and you are able to just really like let go of that emotion and everything too so maybe that would be helpful for you to do during the month of june and we're gonna pull a couple more cards just to see if we can get any more messages We have third a quarter coming out, which says, I connect with nature at my own pace. We have sacral, which says creativity and self-love. And then lastly, we have Virgo, which is supportive, reliable, and meticulous. So with these cards here, I am seeing connecting with nature, especially um, lined up with flow like water is again, do what feels right for you. If you're somebody who hates the water, <laughs> obviously that's something that you don't need to explore if that's not for you. You can even do something like, um, like if you're somebody that just doesn't like open waters, you can always take a bath too. But with this is like, again, it is at your own pace. So do what you believe feels right to you. If it feels right to you to connect with nature just by being outside on a windy day, then take advantage of that. If you're somebody who likes to stand outside, like in the dirt, just like really stand out there like barefoot or something, obviously do that if that is what connects you to nature. Or if you just like taking walks and you like keeping the bugs away from you kind of thing, that is you connecting with nature at your own pace. And then here we have creativity and self-love. So June of 2023 is about you really taking care of yourself and not allowing other people to dampen you and you being able to explore yourself in a creative sense where you're able to go through and tap into your artistic side and really be able to express it with like no holds barred. Like don't think about any sort of negativity coming from other people just express things for you and if you put that out there for people to view the right people will be attracted to you and attracted to your art and then with virgo here so seeing the like supportive reliable and meticulous is virgo always makes me feel like the, they're the planner like they're the person who like has the list and they're following everything to a t again meticulous and everything they're reliable so it's one of those things where you need to really start to conjure that sort of energy for yourself really tap into virgo and try your hardest to come up with routine and a plan even if you're somebody who is super fiery and you like to be spontaneous you don't like to live by a plan maybe within june that's exactly what you need is something that you don't normally try and see if that works for you to actually set out a routine for yourself and try to stick with it throughout the entirety of june we're gonna pull one of these cards as well just a last little message This says, the only way to have a friend is to be one. Do something about that today. Again, we were talking earlier about friendships and the potential that maybe you aren't feeling supported by a friend. So it is possible, again, seeing this come out, is that there could be somebody that's near you who really isn't giving you fully, like you're giving them a lot of energy, or maybe it's to reach out to you and let you know that you do need to connect with people because maybe there's a certain friend that you haven't talked to for a while, but if you were to reach out to them, maybe they would be an unlikely supporter and you just didn't even realize that this would be on their radar. Like maybe you like dabble in something that you think, oh, they would never in a million years like this thing that I create or whatever, but they end up really being in your corner and supporting you as opposed to maybe somebody else that you think would. And then lastly, we're gonna roll this Astro Dice and pull just a couple of Zodiac signs. This could be you or another sun, moon, or rising. 
The first one we have is Sagittarius. That's where the fire energy could be coming from. All the way over here, we have Leo again. <laughs> fire energy is strong in this one. And then lastly, we are coming out with Aries. So we got all of the fire signs here. So I think you're a fire sign. <laughs> I think you're a fire sign or someone you're dealing with is a fire sign, definitely. <laughs> So if you liked this reading or it resonated with you, remember to leave a like, comment, and follow for more tarot pick a card readings in the future. And if you did get this far in your reading, feel free to leave a little shell emoji down in the comment box below so myself and others know that you did reach this point. Thank you guys so much and have a great June. Hello, group number two. If you chose the Ethereal Visions Illuminated Tarot along with this Zebra Jasper, this is going to be your reading for June of 2023. And with this Zebra Jasper here, this can really help you in seeing past illusions. And it can also help ground you when it comes to dealing with things in the like psychic realm or even things such as drawing upon your intuition. So if you're having a hard time struggling with that, you can definitely pick up some Zebra Jasper to help you with those situations. So we're gonna go ahead and start your reading by shuffling up the deck a little bit and pulling a few cards for your June of 2023 reading. For group two, can we get a few cards? I have a few that keep like sticking and then jumping. <laughs> so we've got the four of cups in the reverse position. This one flew right out too. We have the five of wands. The king of cups in the reverse position. One more. And the six of swords. Okay, so I, I am outright, the first like message that I'm getting is that I'm getting from you that like you are just over it. <laughs> like there's just a situation that is going on that you are really just done with and you don't want to be dealing with it anymore and it's just made you really, really exhausted recently. So I'm seeing these cards as this is where you are coming into June. So this is kind of like what your story has been for the past like month or months kind of thing. I'm seeing in the Four of Cups reverse is that you need to give yourself the chance to realign yourself into your values and what it is that you actually want in your life again. I'm seeing you really pulling away from a situation. You're either pulling away from people or you're pulling away away from a situation regarding people and you are really trying to protect your energy and not be like fussed with what's going on with others in your life and i am seeing that because the card directly next to it in the five of wands is that this card is all about like tension it's all about like a battle disagreements kind of thing so there's a lot going on that you really just don't want to be dealing with whatsoever and you are pulling yourself away to protect yourself because there's just too much like i'm feeling like this really overwhelmed energy this really like chaotic situation and like if you've ever been like overstimulated before it's this feeling of you like sitting there and like you're feeling like you're like vibrating out of your skin because you're just like i cannot be dealing with this and you're really panicking and other people around you are not seeing it and they're not caring that you're going through this rough patch and it's making it really hard for you to be able to um, see things from their point of view and I'm also seeing right next to that in the king of cups in the reverse position this card is normally about being able to be like emotionally balanced but I'm seeing there's this level of like there's this moodiness there's this lack of control with your emotions um, it could be that because you're trying to retreat from things maybe you are um you're doing something in a negative way in the sense of you are having a hard time being able to 
really get your point across to people. So it seems like you're being shady because of like you, the, you're not moping, but like the way you're coming across to other people, like they're thinking that you're being like manipulative, but you're really just like hurt by everything that's happening. And you don't know, like you're so worked up that you don't know how to express yourself any further for them to really understand and that just is amping things up and making it even harder for you to deal with like the situation but i am seeing that you do need to give yourself some like grace and really allow yourself to just be because with you going through this like heart of a time and everything you shouldn't take things out on yourself because you feel like you should be better or something like that like you don't need to match their energy if you really can't and i'm also seeing in the six of swords reverse beside the king of cups reversed is that you are really trying to either let go of something or you're really trying to deal with this personal transformation that you're trying to go through so i'm seeing you retreating and you've been sitting in this retreated phase maybe you've pulled away from your typical um like lifestyle you've pulled away from like maybe you're normally really like outgoing person who can make friends really easily and stuff but because of things that have been going on internally you've you've shut that down for a while and you've really retreated inside because you need to protect your energy again and so i'm seeing you um you're kind of like in this moment of like teetering on one of these blades here is you can either be going through this transformation where you could be heading back to that or you could be falling on the other side where you're really resisting it it's making it hard for you to um, make that decision because you're not sure if you want to emerge yet i'm getting this feeling like you know that the, that this situation is like still here and so you have to take care of it eventually but you're really resisting that because you don't want to go back into it like you don't want to have to deal with like say there was a situation with like your friends and like people chose sides and you're sitting there like not necessarily in the middle but like you also haven't let like made your feelings known because you just wanted all the information and you got super overwhelmed so you had to pull away and now that you've been pulled away from it for a while like you know that something needs to be said to someone and you need to be like listen this is how i see the situation and you aren't sure if you're ready to jump into that just yet we're gonna pull a few clarifying cards as well see if we can get any further information so this is for group two june of 2023 can we get any further messages and some clarification on these cards we have the five of pentacles we have the six of cups this one fell right out and the queen of cups i'm gonna push these up just a little bit so you, we can see all of your cards okay so in the five of pentacles on this far side here i'm seeing like that you have either lost like you've either lost something in the sense of like a friendship or you've gone through a financial loss or there's been something taken away like again like maybe you had like this group of friends and you've pulled yourself away from it so you've either like lost those things and you're really really feeling it or this could be dealing with um again in the four of cups it could be dealing with having that um isolation and having like a sense of worry this card kind of ties in with literally all of these here because it also even talks about having the sort of lack of mindset too where like you feel like you can't do anything i don't want to like say that you're going through like a like having like a victim mentality or anything like that i think 
it's fine to recognize when you go through shit (laughs) and like it's fine that you like see that something negative has happened to you it's about what we do after but there is that piece of like a grieving phase or like a mourning phase kind of thing where like you are allowed to feel bad about what you went through kind of thing you don't have to be perfect you don't have to hold it in and really be like I have to be super strong all the time because no one is expecting that of you and if they are then they really should not be in your life because that is really expecting too much out of someone especially if you have been like if you are going through a lot of like inner turmoil and it's making you feel unaligned with how you normally are that can hurt somebody a lot and it can really change someone's um perception of life and it can also change how they approach life a lot and a lot of people don't understand that (laughs) even when like if they go through something and they do something reckless it's fine because it's them but the moment that it's somebody else who does that then they're like oh that person's a bad person (laughs) that person's a problem so like people don't realize when people are going through things that it can really really damage someone it can really make their life like super hard so be soft with yourself and know that if you have lost something that you are allowed to grieve it and you are allowed to even if it's been a while you're allowed to feeling like a message for some people is that you need to hear that you're allowed to have bitter feelings because we don't want to be so negative that like we're being petty or like we're attacking someone because that is not <laughs> that is not very good to be aligned with it's not going to be aligning with like your your highest self to be in that kind of mindset but you can be better about how the way things went in case like say someone never apologized to you for something that they did to you or like no one recognized when you went through this hardship and now you're sitting there in the aftermath and like no one's checked up on you or like asked you how your life is kind of thing so don't be harsh on yourself if you are having these feelings I'm also seeing that in the Six of Cups here is that you really are dealing with something that has to do with um, your past. So either you are needing to forgive something that has happened in your past or you are you keep like running through like your head what it is that you could have done to change this outcome like you wish you could know like all the different paths that you could have followed in order to make the right decision versus the decision that you did make kind of thing and it's kind of making you feel really stuck and like you've lost that spark that makes um life exciting and happy so like when you're waking up you're just like feeling it's like a negative nostalgia is sometimes what i'll like think of it as where you're like thinking back on things and you're just like i'm nostalgic for those times but like they were bad people or like i was nostalgic for um like wishing i could see this situation resolve in a different way kind of thing but again we can't go back into the past so we have to just release it so i'm getting this feeling like again you suffered some sort of loss and it was really draining to your energy involved a few people and you needed to pull away to take care of yourself and whether or not those people stayed in your life or left they're gone or not kind of thing it's fine let them go because you need to focus on you and really take care of yourself and i'm also seeing here in the queen of cups upright is that this here is all about being really in tune with your emotions feeling like you are um compassionate towards yourself that you are very caring and that you are emotionally stable So I'm seeing this right now as this is where you want to be. You want to feel like you um, can just flow into conversations. You can flow through with your emotions and really have this sense of grace and the sense of like getting this like feeling of like softness. Like you wish you could just be and be very just kind and 
gentle and soft with yourself and those around you because I'm getting this feeling like you're a very sensitive person and it's hard right now to be these things that's why like the king of cups is coming up in reverse here is like again that feeling of being like maybe emotionally manipulative it's hard to tap into your emotions because of how you did suffer from before and you do have hurt from before but this is a sign that this is possible to reach this point again if you're able to realign yourself with what it is that you normally are or what it is that you need in order to feel better and come from a better place. I'm also going to pull a few advice cards for you in group number two. So for group number two, for June of 2023, can we get some advice cards? have the five of wands in reversed we also have the two of cups coming out in reverse position we're gonna get one more okay the fool I see I see so we have in the five of wands in the reverse position is the opposite of the five of wands up here. So what we want to do when it comes to advice with this card is that there is, um, you may be having like this inner conflict with yourself that you need to resolve. Um, I'm not seeing this like dealing with it right now for the time being. Um, with other people. I'm seeing this as very, like I'm seeing you as isolated, I'm seeing you as closed in and very quiet. So I'm seeing you dealing with your problems solely by yourself and not involving other people yet. So I'm really thinking that you're taking the time to think things through before you any make any decisions or talk to anyone. It could also be that you are trying to avoid this sort of conflict. So I think you know yourself best and you know that if you tried to approach anyone involved in the situation when you are feeling not like yourself and feeling isolated and withdrawn from your emotions and not able to really tap into your emotions and lead with your emotions that it's just going to make the situation worse. I'm also seeing in the two of cups reversed here that this is about self-love. So I'm taking this as advice you need for 2023's June is that you need to really focus on yourself and really back yourself and give yourself that much needed love and guidance that maybe you've been ignoring for a little while. Um, because this has been such a like alone reading, <laughs> like it's been so solitary. It's been really about you and then the other party. I'm taking this also for some of you that I would avoid getting into a relationship in June. I think there are other things that you need to focus on and worry about that if there's someone that has been kind of like touch and go in your life or like a new like situationship kind of thing, I think that that needs to be put on the back burner for a little bit until you can work through um, this isolation and worry because there's a possibility of it being really rocky. Um, again, you do what you want to do. Like. <laughs> I'm just seeing and hearing certain things. So if that doesn't sound like you at all, if you are somebody that um, works much better when you have the support from somebody, by all means, go down that route. But I am feeling like for some of you that there is a potential relationship that could be happening soon. And I'm getting this vibe of being like, hold on just a minute. Like, let's pump the brakes for a second because I have to get my stuff together. Um, I'm also getting this feeling too for some of you that you might be really paranoid and worried that like it could be that there's something like you don't feel like you can trust them and maybe it's somebody who's connected to this situation or maybe they're like in the friendship group or something and like somebody's like coming to you and trying to like express that they like you but like you can't tell <laughs> like that could be a very specific message for like one or two people but it could be something just to keep an eye out for and this is also not here to tell you like 
you have to love yourself before you can love another person. I don't believe in that crap, so you shouldn't either. You definitely can have support and love and growth with a partner. So again, if this like seems like bollocks and like you need to you you operate better when you have a partner and you have their support then go for that kind of thing too um, especially for the people who are like well established in a relationship and like <laughs> this sounds wild kind of thing this is probably more about self-love and taking care of yourself versus a rockiness in the relationship or anything and then lastly, I am seeing the fool and the fool is here to let you know that you are able to go on this new journey. So the fool is very much about having like new beginnings, um, this sense of like innocence and like naivety where you're able to just sort of be really like spontaneous and just kind of do things and be free and really feel free to go on a new adventure it can be a warning of being like make sure that you aren't blindsided by something so you can look past those illusions again before you head into something new. So again, something like the Two of Cups reversed, um, that sort of warning of potentially like finding a new person or whatever. It could be that the Fool is coming out to be like, just be careful <laughs> with that. But otherwise, the Fool is generally a very positive card and is just unlimited possibilities the fool is about to head out on a journey and you are able to just experience all these new beautiful things if you want to so i do think that you need to go on this fool's journey you do need to sort of start fresh and really give yourself that place of healing that chance of healing and be able to experience new things so I'm going to pull a couple of self-care cards for you to see if there's any self-care that you could be implementing within June 2023 that can help you through this situation. We have aromatherapy. So if you are someone who really loves to just either have like scented candles or if you like essential oils or things like that um, your sense of smell can be very very powerful and it can also invoke a lot of like um, memories from your past because I tie um, my past with smells very heavily so this is something that you could also feel very drawn toward so if there's a certain smell like maybe someone wore a certain um, perfume or cologne or something like that that you have access to you can always try to meditate with that or you can find if that's a safe thing to do or you can find um, certain new scents that really make you feel like fresh and clean and like you can go into a new um, era so something that I love doing and is very helpful is um, oops you get to have three of these um is I love to change my own scent along with seasons if applicable so if I'm able to I do like to have different scents throughout the year and this is one of those things where if you are somebody who thinks like a fresh start is wearing a new perfume or something definitely do so so you have two more that came out. One of them is rest. So it's telling you to sleep. <laughs> I really do think that you need to take the time to actually rest your body and your mind. And you need to not push yourself nearly as much as you have been in the past. And then also I'm seeing spend time with friends. So again, this could be calling you to your like new friendships that you've possibly made if there had been a falling out with friends in the past this could be the people who you realize stuck with you and are actually your true friends and that are like really close with you so it could be a great time to connect with people that do align with you on your current journey and who are at that same vibrational level as you so you can feel good about building up these friendships and relationships I'm also going to pull a few of these cards here and get any other final messages for June of 2023. This card flew out first. This is sacral. 
it says creativity and self-love so there's that self-love coming out again it really wants you to know that you need to focus on yourself during june of 2023 and really just listen to your body and your mind and what it is that you need and that will make you feel good and we also have new moon coming out it says, I open my heart and set my intentions. So this would be great for you to use the new moon to really give yourself a chance to um, set those new intentions, that new um, energy from like the fool. If you do want to go on that new journey and everything, that would be perfect for you to really go ahead and... Um, line those things up with your truest self and write them down and set up this manifestation for a um, new journey that you're going to be going on. And also um, with the new moon, it is going to be occurring on June 18th. So maybe you can learn throughout the earlier part of June what it is that you want to align yourself with. And you can do a little new moon ritual where you can actually write down your intentions and set them for your future. So we're going to pull out one of these cards just for any further messages. Our last little messages for the day. This one. This one here says, I only have, I only fear you have, let me try this again. <laughs> the only fear you have of the unknown is what you think you know about it. Surrender. Magic awaits you. So with this card here is that I think that this is really talking about you being tied to your past again and like you think that these things are going to happen again because you've already been through it but there is this new possibility there's these different paths and these different ways where you can grow and change that you just simply don't know about because you've never had that experience before we like to as humans go through like we're creatures of habit and we also like to see patterns and repetitions so we expect those same patterns to happen over and over again so if there's ever been a time where you've had something negative happen in your life um when it comes up again you're going to think the same thing is going to happen but if you surrender yourself to the universe there's that possibility of that change and it could be something so beneficial to you i also think it's funny this is a message that came out and i don't know if i'm just being silly but with it being so hard for me to get this out like i could not read it my eyes were not adjusting to the words on this card whatsoever and i was like stuttering i really think it would be beneficial for you to think things through and try to go slowly and also really focus on your words throughout the entirety of june so we are heading into gemini season that's all about communication and being very social so i say that your words are going to have a lot of power and i think if you're tripping up over your words and and you're finding yourself really having a hard time being able to get your words out that that is something that you do need to also focus on throughout june of 2023 the last thing that we're going to do is we're going to roll this astro dice and we're going to see if there's any further messages. This can be either yours or people who you're involved with, um, sun, moon, or rising signs, or it could be traits that you need to be harboring within these signs. So the first one we are having come out is Virgo. Next is Aquarius. And then lastly is Virgo again. So if you like this reading or it resonated with you, remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more tarot pick a card readings in the future. And also, if you have the chance to do so, head on down to the comment box and put a little rainbow emoji so you can let myself and others know that you got this far in your reading. Thank you guys so much and have a great June. 
Hello group number three and welcome to your reading. If you chose the Tarot of Mermaids deck along with this aura quartz, then this is going to be your reading for June of 2023. And within this aura quartz, this is a very powerful crystal that can truly help when it comes to situations dealing with healing either the physical or spiritual mind. So if you are needing this extra boost of healing energy, pick yourself up some aura quartz for sure. We're going to head directly into your reading. I'm going to start off by pulling a few cards and we're going to, um, with the past couple of groups, we've actually been having cards come out that are dealing with the current situation that you have found yourself in over the past like month or a couple of months. And then we're going to go further into the reading um, for clarifying cards as well as some advice. So let's pull some cards for group number three and what it is they've been going through. So we've got the Ten of Swords coming out in the upright position. We also have the Ace of Pentacles. This card wanted to come out. The Queen of Swords and the world. All right. So. I feel like with the Ten of Swords, this is very much like a very defeated card. It's very much a card that deals with a lot of anxiety, a lot of stress and worry. Um, it can also be indicative of you going, like being in burnout or going through this really intense, um, like having this really intense like betrayal. Um, it can also be like a loss card. Like I said earlier, is like there could be an ending that needed to happen or just happened to happen. And you are kind of suffering from the aftermath of that. So I'm seeing you in this grieving phase. So this can either be the loss of someone close to you, whether through death or otherwise, um, or could be a loss of something like a job, your home, your health, something that you had stability with before, and now it's really making your life very hard because you no longer have that piece of yourself. And I'm kind of feeling like this um, tightness as I'm trying to like talk about it. So it is this like emotional, this deep seated emotional pain that I am feeling that has to do with um, the situation that you've been in for some time. I'm seeing, however, that in the Ace of Pentacles is that you are trying your hardest to go through this change and this manifestation period where you are trying to once again build yourself back up. So this can be indicative of something like a new job or a new career, and it could be um, about like manifestation or abundance, like having abundance again. But I'm seeing it as like a progress card where I think you may be either working towards like working through this grief and this loss, or you are seeing that that's what you need and you're trying to take the proper steps. But in this reading here, it's very beautiful. And I think that it tells a really good story of maybe where you've been, perhaps even the, in the past year. So I'm kind of getting like this is something that you could have had this loss either within the past year or two and or at the start of this year and then this is like where you're working toward because in the ace of pentacles this is that there's this new potential manifestation or opportunity and then right next to it we have the queen of swords 
And in the Queen of Swords, um, this is very much a very extremely like independent card and very much someone who knows exactly what they want and how to get it. They have um, very clear boundaries and they know how to um, not only establish those boundaries but also enforce them and also um, being very direct about what it is that they want and they need. And then lastly, we have the world coming out. And the world is about like this perfect like completion. So it really like tells this beautiful story of like feeling like you have nothing and you are shifting, shaping, and growing towards this completion, towards really having everything that you want that's like encompasses your world. Um also it can be about having this sense of accomplishment. So maybe manifestations are coming true to you. Um, in a more literal sense too, the world can be indicative of travel. So that's something where for those that it's applicable to, it could be that maybe you've been wanting to travel, like maybe this inciting incident has made you realize that your either worldview is very, very small, or maybe you realize that life is very precious and you need to take the opportunities to experience what it is that you want. Or it could be that this incident caused your world to shrink. So like if it was something like a loss of a job or like a health scare or something, it could be that now you're very focused in on maybe just your home life and this is now your like new world and you have to learn how to navigate this smaller um, spectrum, which again, um, that's different for everyone, but it is something that um, you need to learn how to navigate in a way where your mindset and your mental health will be working with you and not against you. So definitely be gentle with yourself as you're adapting to whatever this new world is. So I'm going to pull a few clarifying cards as well. We have the sun. Okay. Yeah, I really think you went through something and you're finally like on the other side of it. The lovers. Yeah, this is really this is a really beautiful reading. Like it's hard obviously because like you went through something that was so harsh and really hurt you, but you're like finally seeing this upturn. And the Empress, okay. You got a lot of um, major arcana cards coming out to support you here. So in the sun, I'm seeing like um there are better times ahead. I'm seeing this positivity, um, this growth, this expansion. The sun is definitely full of life and full of vigor. So it's something that is showing you this um, turning point where things are just going to get that much better for you, especially in June. You're going to be really seeing a change. So if, you, if you're if you still kind of here on your journey and you haven't reached that point in the world, just know that it's like it's coming <laughs> just follow that path that you've been on and it is going to slowly unveil itself to you so everyone um who's watching this this can be just you can be at different points of your journey it could be that you just had this loss um i'm kind of getting the feeling like it's a little bit of an older wound and you're finally working your way through it um, again, with the lovers right next to the sun is that you are feeling abundant in your love life as well. You're feeling supported, you're feeling treasured, and like you are truly at a point where you can accept love not only from another person but from yourself. And I mean that in the sense of maybe you blamed yourself for the situation or you sat there and went, what else can I do? Um, like, 
like I could have done something different or more or something and you had a lot of guilt and you're finally able to kind of release that and really treat yourself softly again and come at it from a place of love. I'm also seeing that within the Empress as well because the Empress is very much um, in touch with her emotions and her intuition and everything. So you are realizing that all of these things that did happen and everything, they did need to happen for a reason. And you are coming out on the other side a lot stronger and caring for yourself and others a lot more and really being able to be more aligned with how it is that you've wanted to be for some time. Next, we're going to be going into some advice that you can take with you through June of 2023, how to navigate it and make this month that much more exciting and helpful to you. So let's go ahead and shuffle these cards up. And I'm gonna pull on this one here. We have the Knight of Cups in the reverse position, okay. We have the Six of Cups upright. Mm -hmm. And we also have the Eight of Cups in the reverse position. So what I'm seeing with these cards here is that in the Knight of Cups, um, I'm definitely seeing that you need to just be wary of possibly having a lot of like... Um, emotional like not outbursts but maybe like moodiness um like feeling like really really like um like your imagination is just like running wild so like having anxiety about like what if this goes wrong or like what if like this situation happens again or like something like that like not allowing um those feelings to try to take over your life just because that anxiety can really eat at you and it can turn a good day really bad, really fast. So try to rein in your emotions, try to touch base with yourself and really figure out how and why you're feeling these way, this way. Um, it can also be indicative of maybe like feeling moody. So the possibility of like maybe taking it out on people around you or in general, this like feeling of um like jealousy too is like maybe you're like well why did this have to happen to me like why can't i have this perfectly easy life like so and so kind of thing um we all have our own different paths and our own different struggles and the things that we have to deal with and learn from and we have to try our best to worry about the things that we can do to make our lives easier here rather than focusing on other people just because one they're going through their own stuff that you don't know and that you don't see but also um like we don't ever want to like wish like harm on other people or, or wish like oh i wish like that happened to them instead of me like that kind of thing you don't want to hold on to that sort of negativity because that really just clogs you up and makes you um hurt inside more so try to avoid those things i'm also seeing in the six of cups that this is really a great time for you to get in touch with like your childish side um this can also be dealing with like nostalgia too so you could be thinking back on these times like before this event happened and like really be thinking about um how like your life used to be like and you could be looking back on it either in a positive light or it could be sort of bittersweet to really be revisiting all of these um, old feelings but i think that being able to get in touch with your inner child can be really helpful in working through these emotions and really help you in understanding yourself a bit more. Allow yourself to play more too. This is the message I'm getting where like I feel like you can sometimes be really high strung and like wanting to control a lot of aspects because you were out of control in this aspect here so now you kind of like really rein things in and it makes it hard for you to let loose a bit more but i think you need to give yourself this chance to let loose and um and be able to play a bit more and then lastly here we have 
the eight of cups in reverse and in this card here i'm getting this feeling like um you could either be walking away from a situation or there's a possibility that i'm getting this like feeling of like you keep revisiting this and you keep missing out on all the good things that have come beyond it and so you are being told like in a gentle way try your hardest to not focus on this negativity that did happen um i'm also getting this feeling like you if you could walk away and leave this in the past how would your life look like now like obviously this happened right but take where you're at now as your new baseline and try to go from there and um, try not to connect this negative moment in your life and really think that you are um, controlled by it. Don't give it more control than it already has on you is what I'm getting from these cards. I'm also going to pull a few self-care cards to see if there's any further messages we can get for June of 2023 and how they can help us. I just dropped a whole bunch on the floor, so none of those were for you. We're going to keep shuffling. <laughs> and we have, oh, risque. We have sex coming out. So, you know, that, that means what it means. <laughs> I'll talk about it more. Hold on a second. The next one I am pulling out is going to be clear your energy field. So in the first card here, um, with the intimate card, I am seeing this as very literal. It's even on top of the lovers. Like you may be somebody who um, that's a very important aspect of your relationship, and it's something that. Um, really makes you feel connected with your partner and it's something that you need more of and that's something that in June if you do have more time with your partner or partners then that's something that you can do safely and it can make you feel more in control and it can make you feel again more connected to your partner it can make you feel more positive and happy as well if you're somebody who um, does not like partake in that sort certain aspect of human life, um, that again, that's up to you. And that is something that maybe you are someone who likes to self-explore. Um, and if it is something that makes you uncomfortable or you don't typically um, see this, I'm seeing it also as it's a very intimate thing so take what this means but put it in spin it in a way that is meant for you so if you're somebody who does not have this in your life at all and you do not want this in your life whatever you think is the most intimate thing that you can do with your partner or even with yourself to feel like this sort of way do that kind of thing so it does not need to be literally this <laughs> um and then i'm also seeing in clear energy field is take time to really knock out all of the negative energy and knock out anything that has been really stagnant in your life um so if that means that you need to purify your space, be sure to do that. If you are someone who likes to brush out all the negativity and then light some candles or anything like that, be sure to do that in order to make your space feel more 
um, aligned with you and just like lighter. It can also be a great time for you to partake in spring cleaning. So if that's something that you've been putting on the back burner, it might be a great time for you to actually get rid of all of those old items, donate them, or sell them online if you need to in order to free up some space and really purge all of the unneeded things that are in your home. We're also going to pull a few more cards to see if we can get any last remaining messages out. So for group three, any last messages that we want to share? We have coming out is Rose Quartz, which is self-love and compassion. Which this card is also really giving me um, the Six of Cups vibes. Maybe just because the figure on here looks really young. We also have Aquamarine coming out with Courage. So needing that courage to be able to really stand up for um, yourself and really being able to um, release yourself from these shackles is what I'm getting the feeling from. And then we also have smoky cords coming out with protection. So you are protected. Like what you, um, if you are having these negative thoughts and you keep having these like feelings like, oh God, what if this thing happens again or something? Like you are protected. This is not going to happen to you again. And you're going to be able to experience things in a different way. You're going to be protected from um, whatever that situation was. So you can learn to go on like a new journey and be able to fully heal from the situation also i wanted to touch base again with the self-love and compassion too is like um if you are somebody who you do not have a partner this the lovers is so deeply tied to just having that like unrequited love or not unrequited good lord <laughs> having that like unconditional love like having that um really like tight bond and everything and you can have that with yourself like it doesn't need to be with anyone else so if you're not somebody who is seeking a relationship or you don't um have like you don't need that sort of connection with another person know that you can supply it to yourself as well i'm also going to pull one of these for any last messages slipped right out it says when would now be a good time so i really think this hit me immediately with like living in the now so not trying to focus on the past the what ifs and things like that really focusing on your present moment and also doing something about it so not trying to live your life being like, well, when I feel better, I mean, like, obviously, if you're not feeling good, <laughs> take care of yourself, but like, being like, oh, I need to wait until a certain thing happens before I can take care of, like, move forward with things and stuff. It's like, no, you need to move forward now. Like, if you haven't gone through this arc here, and you aren't progressing in this positive light, you need to take the reins and be like, now is the time that I need to really start reclaiming my life again instead of allowing my, myself to live in this negativity live in this past situation and then the last thing we're going to do is go through this astro dice this could be your sun moon arising or anyone else who's involved in your life or it could be traits that you need to take on from these different signs the first one we are seeing is aries it's that fire that passionate um, go-getter kind of attitude. We have Scorpio. And then lastly, we have Virgo. So if you liked this reading, remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more tarot pick card readings in the future. And also, if you have gotten this far in your reading, remember to leave a rose down in the comments below so myself and others can see that you did reach this point in your reading. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you have a great June.